So one of the funnest programs that I like to make is a choose your own adventure game, just because I like combining the creativity with a little bit of code. And we made one for in the sample apps. So if you want to go to the sample apps and check it out, you can go start with that and make your own from there. Uh, but right now, I'm going to show you how to do one on your own, getting started, starting with nothing. So what I've got here is I'm right here in Code Studio. And I like to start in design mode because in design mode, I can start by just designing the app without even thinking about what the code is going to look like. Now, the first screen of my app is going to be the first question in my choose your own adventure. So let's pull some text out there. And let's say um, you wake up, you're in a desert, because that seems like a place you would wake up. Um, you see a skateboard and a camel. Which one do you take? That seems like a reasonable question. Uh, let's increase the text size of this, because I want it to look a little bit bigger. It's a nice big question right here. And I'm going to drag it right into the middle. Um, and then I'm going to add two buttons. Uh, button one is going to be for skateboards. So we'll change the text on that one to say skate. You can spell that right. Skateboard. And the ID of that one is going to be skateboard, so I can remember which button it is. And we're going to make that button a little bit bigger. I feel like skateboards should be purple for some reason. So I'm going to make that a nice big purple button. And then let's add a button for camel. Also a good choice if you wake up in the desert. Camel. And the idea of that one, I'm also going to make camel. And now I'm going to make that one big. Make them equal size so people don't know which one to pick. Now, I'm going to go design the next screen. Before I write any code, before I make it go anywhere or do anything, I'm just going to go ahead and design the next screen that's going to happen. So let's go to new screen. And let's make this our, no button, I don't want a button. Um, we're going to use some more text. We're going to make this our, uh, we'll make this one our camel screen. So uh, what happens if you've got a camel? So let's see. If you've got a camel and you go through the desert, seems like a good choice. It was a long, hard slog. After five days of trekking through, I spelled trekking wrong. Let's go with wandering. Wandering through the desert, uh, you eventually make it to the city. Congratulations. And make that nice and big. Let's go with a font size up here, a uh, nice big font. And there we go. That is screen two. Uh, and what I want to do next is add some pictures, add some backgrounds. But for right now, just teaching the basics of how to get coding. So I'm just going to move on and add another screen. Uh, this is the screen where the person picked a skateboard. And if you picked up the skateboard, I think you died. I don't think, I don't think skateboards are a good choice for the desert. We got our You Died screen. So now, if we look up here, you can see we've got three different screens. We've got our intro screen. We've got the screen we want to go to if you choose camel. And we've got the screen we want to go to if you choose skateboard. Um, and I labeled them differently. So let's redo the labeling. <laughs> let's call this skateboard screen so that they're all labeled in the same way. Uh, now, let's go back to our intro screen. and let's actually make these buttons work. So what I want to have happen is I want when I click on the skateboard button, I want it to go to the skateboard screen. As you can see here, when I click on the skateboard button, I get all these different properties. I can test set the text, I can set the height, the width of the button, I can set the color, the background color of the button. But there's also this other tab next to properties for events. Now an event is something that can be called when you interact with an object. So if I have a text input, uh, object, then I might get an event when I change the text in it, or when I, um, when I interact with it in another way, like click on it. For a button, the main event that we care about is clicking on the button. And as you can see here, under events for button, I'll see that there's a click event. Underneath that, I can see that it's triggered when the button is clicked with a mouse or tapped on a screen. Perfect. I'm going to click Insert and Show Code. And that's automatically going to put the code in my program so that when the skateboard button is clicked, it will let me know that the skateboard button is clicked. This function is going to run right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to log to the console that I clicked the skateboard button. Let's try it. I click Run. 
I click on Skateboard. And right down here to the console, I can see that it logged that it clicked the button. It's a good start, but I don't actually just want to log to the console. What I really want to do is switch screens. So let's get rid of this logging to console uh, line right here. And under UI controls at the very bottom, you can see a function right here for setting the screen. I'm going to go grab that, put it over here. And when the skateboard button is clicked, I want to switch to the skateboard screen. Now I want to do the same thing for the camel. Let's go back to design mode. And on the camel button, we're going to insert and show code. Instead of logging to the co console that the camel button was clicked, what we're going to do is we're going to set the screen to our camel screen. There we go. Should we try it out? I click Run. And if I click Camel, I win the game, which is fantastic. If I reset my game and I run it again, and I click Skateboard, I die. Which is sad, but makes sense, because I was using a skateboard in the desert. So hopefully you guys can invent your own games that are uh, more fun and more interesting than this one. Uh, you can again check it out on our App Lab page, and there's a list of apps and a longer uh, choose your own adventure game that you can use to get started. Thanks. <laughs>